Oh, my fault. We could have put all that in the video. Yep. Well, we, we actually rolling. Are we rolling? We are rolling, y'all. So, y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Justin. I got my boy, Rico, right here today. So, y'all, we are headed to um, Morrow, Georgia, uh, which is like 10 minutes outside, like 10, 15 minutes. Ain't that far. Tomorrow you just stepped on the outside. It's like before you get to Stockbridge and McDonough, y'all. Uh, but we're headed down there today. But since I had Rico riding with me today, y'all, I wanted him to kind of, I think this is like our first time, his first time on the channel of, of, of us talking, having dialogue. But I want to kind of just get your insight. You're a part of Justin Jackson Skits. He's a major, he's not just a part, he's a major key player right now. Um, he has his own storyline. He's, he's coming up and directing. I mean, where do you want to see things go from there? I mean, as far as things are right now, I like how they're progressing, you know what I mean? Uh, dive into more of the character personally. Like, I, I feel like the cast that we have, we need to get a little bit more serious. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's having fun with it right now. But like I told y'all, uh, last time we were shooting, you got this is pretty much practice for the big screen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is really you branding yourself for others to see you because you don't know who watching. Yeah, it's true. That's the whole thing about it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You think the people that you reposting it to or the people you telling about it watching it, but it's really a domino effect. It because is. Because the people that I know don't know them. And the people that I know who don't know them might know somebody that I don't know. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a mm -hmm. continuation thing. So, you really don't know who's watching. Yeah. But as of right now, we are, we have a strong cast. You know, I don't think we have any weak links at this moment. No, we got, we got, we got a overall good cast. And the people that's on your storyline are doing a phenomenal job. Yeah. Um, are doing a phenomenal job. So, I think, I think it's going good. I would like to see each of the characters, though. Like you said, I want to dive more into... The seriousness of the it. The seriousness of it. And dive into really getting the I want to like I wanna watch I want I want people to find their character that they like. They're like, okay, I can't wait till the episode come out because I wanna see that character. And now as far as that goes, I definitely am looking forward to the audience really grasping and getting the full mm -hmm. the full flavor of it. Cause there's a lot of flavor in this gumbo, you know what I mean? It, it is, it's a lot. So I want them to like really tap into it and if I'm like for me. I want them to understand that there's uh, the person in real life and there's the actor that you see. Yeah. So they got to learn to separate the two. You they know do. Because I mean? you do that with your, well, then again, you don't do it with your favorite actors because no. you don't know them in real life. No. So you see them as the characters that they're playing. Yeah. So that's what I want them to see, that tap into who you see on the screen and not what's going on in a person's personal life. You know, if you that's do true. just so happen to know that person but you looking at them from the camera lens mm -hmm. view them from the camera lens talk about what you see on TV yeah and that's my whole thing that's what I want I can't wait for them to uh get a grasp of yeah 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 knowing the difference and I think I think right now we've been doing with people we, we, we're giving an opportunity to now where uh we're, we're really showcasing it we're putting that forward like uh, I think we had came up with some videos the other day where Tyler introduced herself, Mocha introduced herself, where he's letting you know, hey, this is the role I play. Yeah. But I and I, and outside is I'm two separate people. And some of our actors do. We go by the um, they Actual use their name. name. Then some of them don't. They start not to. But there still are two different people off screen, and people just gotta learn to see that. You know. Absolutely. They gotta learn to see that. But overall, things good. I think for me, I'm all about right now building. I'm looking at it differently. I, I, the reason I got went into this, one of the things is I always wanted to be an actor, but the thing that means the most important to me is really building a community for people and giving them an opportunity. It's a stepping stone to yeah. get to where you want to be. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Everybody, you got to start out somewhere. And nowadays with social media and stuff like that, this is an opportunity for you to jump out there without quote unquote not being ready. This is your getting mm -hmm. ready tool right here. It is. This is where you sharpen your skills at. Because with uh, improvisation, you know what I'm saying, it's scripted, but it's not scripted. It's, it's mm -hmm. giving you the opportunity to bring your own identity to a character versus 
being a slave to the page. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, very true. And that's what also they have to understand. They have to get grasp that because, man, a lot of people don't realize, even the audience, and for who, those of you who are watching, being an actor is not easy. No, it's, it's easier said than done. Let me put it that way. Because when that light come on, mm -hmm. you can be a good actor all you want. You know what I'm saying? You can rehearse as much as you want. Mm -hmm. But if you're not comfortable in front of that camera, oh, man, it's going to show. Oh, yeah, it's going to show. You got you to be confident. And one thing I like that we started doing, we really, we don't rush the scenes. We really shoot it till we get it right. Right. Um, and it's really about, I, I think we, we started, and we started really doing that I guess about in the last month where we really make people, t you know, we before we even shoot, we understand the why or why we're shooting it and where we're at in the storyline. And we, and we really don't go to the next skit until we re until we see that. We're comfortable enough with the, what we just did. Yeah. And we see that character, uh, uh, that person that's playing that role in the moment. They're yeah. in that moment. That you got you got to put yourself in it. The best example I can give on that one was with Nene. Yeah. Like, Nobody has really topped that one, and I don't think nobody is unless they're gonna cry on cue. And I'm, I'm gonna no. tell you like this: I, don't, I can't cry. <laughs> no, I cannot cry on cue. No, Nene, Nene killed that. That was a epic scene, and 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 that's one thing too. We try to do with our actors. We had a meeting where we kind of in that meeting we talked about some of you know we like to know a little bit of people's trauma in a way if they can if we can incorporate a story in some way. Mm -hmm. We like to do that because I think those are the best actors if they can bring that out of what they their past hurt trauma and things like that. Absolutely, like the first time I ever experienced something like that was uh, 2017, maybe 2017. Mm -hmm. I was in it was my first actual acting class with uh, damn I forgot her name. Don't don't I hope she don't see this, but. I forgot her name. This was back in New Orleans. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, this was my acting coach. Oh, wow. And How you forget your acting coach? But then again, it might have been Terrence Rosemore. Uh -huh. I, I remember Terrence Rosemore because that was one of the people that I really tapped into. That's my dog. Mm -hmm. But they pulled her t this person to the side and asked her to think about something that really happened. And we were just going over something, some classwork, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they pulled that person to the side and asked her to pull from a deep place. Mm. So to step outside for a minute, think about it, and come back in. And when they came back in, I, I, I literally watched this lady cry, bro. That was like something, I was in a maze. Mm -hmm. So I was like, geez. Mm. So that's how I know I can attest to what you're saying about yeah. someone tapping into that trauma. But even when I came out here and I, my first coach, well, I went to LS Studios. That was when I first started taking lessons out here. Mm -hmm. And then I, I tapped in with Bruce Blackshear and I watched, um, damn, I'm, I'm drawing a blank with these names right now. <laughs> but uh, his name is Pioneer. Pioneer is a dope actor too. Mm -hmm. uh, I watched Pioneer, he did a, a, like a jail scene mm -hmm. and he was arguing with, not arguing, but he was talking to his uh, attorney in this particular scene and they dug so deep bro mm. to where they had to take a minute to come back down mm. you see what i'm saying because mm -hmm. when you dig yeah it's gonna bring it's gonna elevate that character for sure so once you elevate that character when the scene ends mm -hmm. you still there yeah so you have to come back down to where you are you know what i'm saying regularly yeah. And I saw somebody pull that out, you know what I mean? And also another time where I saw I was with uh Chantel Maurice. That's another coach that I tapped in with. And she had another person that she made tap into something, bro. Mm. And I'm telling you, I witnessed it. So like taking lessons is definitely a first step for someone to become an actor. Mm. And what I explained before what we're doing now with these skits mm -hmm. and even when I was in with Country Wayne those things are sharpening tools so it's pretty much like homework mm -hmm. you feel me mm -hmm. or quote unquote hands on training yeah because you go to class and you training you see what I'm saying but then this is more of a gig so it's like a uh, a internship you know what I mean mm -hmm. so with this the skits are your internship, so it's like yep. you're 
getting paid to learn. Learn, you, you are. You are, you are, you right, you right so on it. That's what that's the best way I could describe that, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you right on it. So uh for all you guys that don't know, some of you know in the comments, but if you don't know, uh Rico was a and I'm gonna let him talk about because he can he knows all the he got the detail I wanna know a little bit of, but he he was a previous actor in Country Wayne and tell him a little bit about that. So when I was with Country Wayne, shout out to Mike Bless and my dude. Shout Wally J and my homeboy D from the West Side. You know, D is actually from the West Side. That's why they call him that. Okay. He, he's from Atlanta, you know. But they gave me the opportunity to uh, be under Mike Bless Production, and I'm definitely grateful. That's my family, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. those, are, those are my guys forever. And uh, when I got on there, I was only supposed to be on there for a couple of scenes, a couple of skits. But I, ha I actually had longevity. Mm -hmm. And then... Of course, you know, certain characters don't last forever, you know what I mean? Yeah. And unfortunately for me, uh, I was a casualty of war and I had to be quote unquote dismissed or had a birthday party, what they call it. The fans call it a birthday party. When they say a birthday party, that means your character is out of here. So, gotcha. you know, that's what happened. And then uh, in the midst of my hiatus from Country Wayne is when I made a comment on your skit mm -hmm. and had no idea that it was an opportunity on the other side of it you know what I mean no y'all hey, so and no idea when uh I, I, I made a comment on that when you saw my comment mm -hmm. you just looked at me it was like hey man I got something for you if you interested not knowing who I was at all no you know what I mean no I, di I didn't even know who he was y'all and then the role I was getting him for was to be Sean Ye's dad not knowing that me and Sean Ye actually knew, knew each, each other. other I didn't even know. I still didn't know the day he showed up. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm thinking they don't know each other. Right. Um. So. And you, and you were two people like you were like that, and then Candace was like that. Yeah. I found Candace in the comments, and that's how Candace came. So Sean Ye is someone who I actually knew before I got on the uh, Justin Jackson skits. You yep. Know what I mean? Yep. And you know that's my home girl, and I also I tell her like you have no idea how dope you are as far as an actress right now. Yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, she, 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 she's amazing. One of our top ones, y'all. Yeah. One of our top ones. But overall, y'all, well, that that's good. So how long did how long ago was Country Wayne? Well, for me, uh, it was it's been a, it's coming up on a year. So okay. I, in, in my head, I don't know why I have April fifteenth, <laughs> but that's definitely the date that I have. So that's when the reason why I said it was April fifteenth is because. That's the last skit that I was. That's the date the last skit that I did came out. Gotcha. Okay. So, but man, I mean, to be honest with you, being a part of Country Wayne skits, bro, and I'm telling y'all, I really thank God for giving him the talent that he did give to Country Wayne because mm -hmm. Country Wayne is shining a light and giving an opportunity for a lot of people, a Most lot of upcoming actors. Most definitely. So, Man, he's definitely a blessing and, to the acting and world. And has set the ball high. Set, oh, definitely set the ball. Set the ball high, and, and it's amazing, just amazing, y'all. So, shout out to Country Wayne, Mike Bless, that entire team over there. They're doing a, an awesome job. And, oh. and like, man, being a part of that production is like, in my opinion, mm. it's like a fraternity, so to speak. You know what yeah. I mean? Because once you become a, a part of that family, like, you just get connected with people that you would never even think that you would even meet. Yeah. Or stuff like that And then you get to learn From other actors Like In the sense of Watching them work mm -hmm. And I always tell Like the people That I'm close to On the And even other actors On other projects mm -hmm. Especially when you dope I'm a fan Yeah I'm a friend And a fan Yeah You know what I mean Because if I can be a fan Of an actor Or anybody For that matter mm -hmm. Who I don't know why can't I be a fan of people of my peers? Yeah. Like my friends. You oh know yeah. What I mean? Oh yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Because also with being a fan of your peers and seeing them work up close, mm -hmm. it encourages you to do your best. Yes, it you does. Know what I'm it does. It does. So, man, listen. That experience is something. I remember watching Country Wayne back when I was in New Orleans. I didn't. I didn't find out about Country Wayne until I moved here. Well, I knew about him back when I was in New York because you know I, everybody's on uh, Facebook, Facebook, yeah. and Instagram and stuff like that. Yeah. And I would have never guessed in a million years that I would have worked under him. You know what I mean? Wow. Or wow. my name would be associated mm -hmm. with anything that he had. You know what I mean? Wow. 
because it definitely blossom into something that I don't think that he even saw. No. And if, if he did, that's a hell of a vision, brother. Yeah. And, it, and it's an amazing thing he got going on. And I had, if you guys know my history, I, I got into YouTube when I came here in 2019, right before the pandemic hit. And uh, we, we got in there, we started doing pranks and all of that. And more I started doing pranks, I started realizing that I had only did like one play in middle school. I was the star of the play. Never thought nothing of it, but when I started doing pranks on YouTube, I started realizing, because with doing pranks, you got a little bit, you it's going to pull out the acting in you a little bit, eventually, because the way you do the prank and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's pretty so, much improv. It, it's improv, yeah, it's improv. The other person doesn't know what's going on, so they're being realistic about it, yep. and it gives you a sense of a character that you have to portray, Bring, portray. because you don't want to give it up what you're trying to do you know what's going to happen but uh -huh. the person you're pranking doesn't yeah they don't know so it absolutely so, uh it, gives you a sense of yeah. uh acting skills so it brought that out and then over time throughout those three years and if you've been following me, i would do little skits here and there i would shoot them more long i call them long long form ways um not up and down now because i mean i was just doing it youtube really youtube it, it won't for like phones and i call it now with the way we do it now it's like a country wayne way yeah. But I used to shoot multiple scenes and stuff, like kind of like a short film. Crazy so, part about that, my fault for cutting you off. Mm -mm. But dude, so dope, he created a whole genre. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Wayne well, created a whole. You got that right. Like people were doing skits with back in the day, but they were three minute skits. I'm gonna say three mm -hmm. second skits. Three whatever, second. You know what uh huh. Mm -hmm. And not discrediting them either, because you gotta be talented as hell. To come up with something funny in three seconds, in you know three, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, in three seconds, yeah. But to go back to what I'm saying, he created a whole genre of acting. He did. When, and, and it was quick for the eyes. The eyes they like absolutely. it. Three minutes, you watch yeah, it, and you and it's done. So now, when you think about it, it's called country Wayne skits. I call yeah. Regardless of what your platform is, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. So that's that's I, it just clicked in my head. Dude created a whole genre like I'll, this of music. My, my biggest thing, I look, you know, as we do this, I, I look at country ways the bar and I call it the country Wayne style. That's what I call yeah. it. Because he at the end of the day, he's the one that did it. And I, I thought it was brilliant one day. Cause I was like, I'm shooting all these multiple scenes. I'm like, hold on, no editing, three minutes, improv? Let's do it. So it he Country Wayne set the bar, and, and I'm, I'm for listen. Shout out to him, give him his flies. The man, the man has done it. The man has done it. So, and being a part of Country Wayne skits, like you know, I've done movies and stuff like that mm -hmm. on they, uh, on Tubi, and I've had people come up to me and ask me who I was because they see they might have just seen me in a scene in a movie for a second. I'm not gonna sit up here and tell you I had millions of people. Uh -huh. um, thousands of people coming up to me but when i joined the cast of country wayne mm -hmm. it was unbelievable like people would come up to me and know who i am and i'm looking at them like yeah nah i was i was in um the u-bar one time and mm -hmm. i had to use the bathroom like crazy yeah <laughs> so i'm standing there doing my little bathroom dance or whatever and they had a guy talking to three females his back was to me and the females were facing me but he was blocking the restroom mm -hmm. So I'm like, excuse me, brother. So he, he turned around. He was like, man, I just saw you. I'm looking at him like, nah, man, you don't know me. I'm not even from here. He was wow. like, man, no, I just saw you. I'm like, where you saw me at? He pulled up his phone and I was on it. As soon as he opened his phone, mm -hmm. I was on his phone. Yeah. But I had a couple of moments like that. And me being me, not realizing that I'm actually in the public eye, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like I'm a humble person Oh yeah oh, I still yeah. think I'm me Because I'm with me every day mm -hmm. But and people see me In a different way When they see On uh, Country Wayne's platform Yeah and, and, and what It shows you the power Of social media Absolutely Because I we've always Gotten it too You know people know me From Jackson Southern Land You be in, in a store I've had some people You know some people Like oh hey I know you I follow you And watch you on TV I'd be like okay You meet some people That go crazy Like oh my god That's you I'd be like yeah That's me And you be humble Because you don't realize You, you never You don't never think Of the impact That you're making When you see those views And you see 300,000 views 500,000 views you don't realize that's 500,000 people. And yeah. as, as more views, especially in Atlanta, Atlanta's big, but it's small, you're going to get noticed anywhere you go because you got to realize 
the ratio if 500,000 people just seen you on a video you are bound to run into somebody that knows you where you're going absolutely so yeah it, it's the power of the power of social media man, man. so overall you 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 were in country way now you came partnered up with Justin Jack now he went from now act, acting he's walking in the the shoes of a director he is a director he he's starting over here what what is your goal to build over here the crazy part about it is like it wasn't i never saw myself as a a director you know what i mean mm -hmm. i've always just seen myself as an actor i, I was like this face belongs in the tissue <laughs> but no i'm just joking oh uh, i just always thought that i would be in front of the camera mm -hmm. but how it came about in my eyes, and I even know you know this because you was there, you experienced it with me. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to tell my fellow actor what I saw outside of the moment because in front of the camera, you can't see what's going on. Yeah, you can't. You know, especially when you in that moment. Mm -hmm. So by and what you're portraying, I can see it because I'm a viewer at this point. Even mm -hmm. though I know what's going on, I have to watch the art come to life. That's true. So. It was just me telling them, telling them what I think would fit better or what they can do to alter it to come off more realistic versus just reading or reciting words. Mm -hmm. And I was, like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not a coach. I'm not a director. I'm not nothing. Y'all was putting that on me like but that. You, but you are, though. You got to walk in it. And that's why, I, and one thing I would tell them, Regan, we had this conversation to me and I told everybody, I don't give titles just to anybody. You earn them. But Rico has really stepped up. I would say this about Rico, y'all. Make sure you know follow him on all social media platforms, and we'll make sure we list it at the end of the video. But you are sometimes God. Would, that's how God does. Even with me and acting and everything, God has even YouTube. God will push you into something. He, you will never say, "Oh, I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna be a director today." It, it just, it, it, you just bump into it. That's life. That's God. He'll have you fall into something. And people literally, when they show up to shoot and everything, they look for his um, input. And it's nothing. Get listen. I'm, I'm listen. I'm producer, director, right? Listen. I need some help. I've learned that if we're gonna go to the place that we're trying to get to, which we're gonna get there, I need some help. So it, it, it encouraged me because now I can sit back and focus on producing, which that deals with the money. Make sure everybody gets straight and make sure the writing is taken care of. And I even gave him a writer. So now I'm sitting back. I'm just making sure everybody get paid. I'm watching like everybody else. So you you and I had to learn you only go far as your team goes. So you doing that, number one, I think you you have fell in love with it even more here at Justin Jackson Skits. And you are enjoying it. And the people that you are, I wanna say shepherding, but leading and directing, they they they, they love you for pulling the best out of them. Now in my opinion, in a in, a, in an instance I don't feel like so much that I'm a I'm leading or anything like that. You are. I, I'm just sharing my vision. You sharing your vision, but you're leading because if y'all don't know, which I gave Rico this, we call it the Rico storyline. Everything you see Rico mainly in, lets we cross paths in our storyline. He has his own storyline. I gave him that because I feel he has the experience, he has the ability. But you are you leading. That's what they're looking at you because now so you get into the place where people are gonna be like, all right, I want to work with Rico. Right. It's like it's like the same as people that we just talked about. The people that have set the bar high. You, you look at Country Wayne. You look at Mike Bliss. When you go to Country Wayne, who you want to work with? You gonna want to work with Country Wayne? You want to work with Mike Bliss? You want to work with uh, Che? You want to work with those those great right those great producers? I feel you on that. One. So you gotta look at yourself, and that's how I look at myself. It's it's gonna be a privilege. It not it is gonna be. It is a privilege to work with Justin Jack. It is a privilege to work with Rico and work with his storyline because I know if I don't do my right Rico gonna send me somewhere else and Justin gonna send me somewhere else and see for me like anything that I tell somebody as far as like giving direction mm -hmm. is because it, these are the things that I'm telling myself mm -hmm. you feel me so they always say you know what I'm saying the saying says one for your one for your brothers what you want for yourself that's the truth and that's all I'm trying to do that's I'm just trying to help a person if I give direction or whatever or say if I see something I'll pass it by them, and I, I also want them to understand that it's not criticism or anything like that. I'm not trying to come down on a person who is taking a, or receiving the direction. I'm just trying to, like, basically lend a hand. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You feel me? Because I don't want you looking retarded or stupid or, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Especially if my face is associated with it. Mm -hmm. If we go outside, I want you to look good just as much as I look good. That's the truth. And I feel like this. I want the same in return. That's the truth. You know what I mean? That's the truth. So, y'all heard the best right here from Rico. Uh, go follow. Where can they follow you at? Uh, I got a lot of things, and they're different. You know, most people... <laughs> Change, I'm gonna say most people use their uh, <laughs> their name for uh, everything across social media, uh -huh. but um, my actor's in Instagram is you'll remember me. Justin gonna post it, the link at the bottom. I'm gonna post it, the link. Long. I'm gonna it's, put the description yeah, in the box. Be long. So check and out also, the description box. I got my podcast at in case you didn't know. You know what I mean? So y'all mm -hmm. can check that out. So you'll remember me on Instagram, T Rico Brown on. Facebook and in case you didn't know on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, y'all. So listen, stay tuned, y'all. Uh, Justin Jackson, because we on the move. We heading to a meet now uh, that literally I was putting the proposal together. We have so far to this day done 244 skits uploaded and posted to YouTube. Let's get it. We get ready to do an action plan that y'all, what we just did in three months, we get ready to do in one month. Before we sign off, bro, I gotta say this. Mm -hmm. Even though he's not, uh, you don't see him often. You don't see him at all, really. Mm -hmm. Because if you see him, then that means you're not gonna see us. That's right. So I gotta give my man Jalen his props, bro. Yeah, all. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta put Jalen tag at the bottom so they can go yeah. follow Jalen and That's check out the truth. all of his work as well. Because my guy is really the man, and the crazy part about it is, he's the cinematographer, but he take direction from me as well. Yeah. So he be like, nah, man, tell me, let me know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's my dog, but I gotta give my dog his and, props. And he yeah. does all the production, cause y'all be in the comments. Oh, who, y'all, listen, it's Jalen. And y'all, and one day we'll flip the next video, we'll flip the camera so y'all can see Jalen. Hey, you know, I, I know, I know how to, I know a thing or two with that camera. You know what I'm saying? I gotta sway it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I can get my dog in his shot, so he gotta get his fan. Yeah. Listen. We gotta make sure he does the next time. We gotta get his testimony. A lot of people don't know who behind the camera. So you make sure you do your testimonial video too. Yeah. You gotta make sure you do it. I got so, you, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because Jalen, he sees everything as well. He sees everything before everybody sees it. Jalen you know I mean? has seen everything. Everything. The, every, the good, the bad, the, and ugly, the ugly. And the heard it all too. This boy probably know more than everybody in the room. No lie. This, this is this joke right here. But he's I'm gonna tell you something about Jalen real quick and we're gonna end out. Is this not only is he good at his job, the fact is I like him that he's loyal, he's trustworthy, y'all. That's what kind of people you need to see. And same for Rico, y'all. That's what I'm learning in this season too. We we might do a part two on the way back from where we leave, but you, where we're going, what I needed in this season, people to ram it that uh, trustworthy lawyer and ready to take things to the next level because we headed there, y'all. But anyway, we got to get out of here. Hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the most important, hit the god dog on subscribe button. You're rocking with Justin Jackson. Listen, I'll see y'all in the next video. We out of here. Peace. Peace.